Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your November general reading. Um, this will be a reading that's going to kind of give you insight on what to expect for November. I always begin the readings by saying thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support you continue to give our channel. Now, just a little bit about this reading today. We will have all of the elements in one, um, all of the signs in one element reading. So what does that mean? All of the fire signs will be in one reading, all of the earth, all of the water, and all of the air, okay? Um, but you guys will have different storylines, so make sure you just watch how it unveils it really is remarkable how it unveils believe it or not um so um let me just say thank you again for all the love and support you continue to give to the channel thank you for your comments i read every last one of them um you just have no idea how you touch my heart with that okay now for this reading today you'll be able to apply this to your sun your moon your rising and for some even your venus signs keep in mind that their energies will flip-flop so if it doesn't relate to you it could relate to your partner or it could be an energy that surrounds you oh and hello to our cross watchers now there's no time limit on these readings even though we're slating it for november so you could hear something that you heard three that happened months ago something that might be going on right now or something that's happening in the near future don't forget to follow us on instagram at lotus Love terror 555 don't forget to subscribe to, to why am i tongue tongue tied because mercury is coming out of retrograde thank goodness don't forget to subscribe to our channel, <laughs> okay? And you guys, give us a like. Give us a thumbs up because it really helps to push those readings out a little further. Don't forget we have a Patreon, which is absolutely phenomenal. As low as $2.22 per month is a great deal. And um, don't forget we do private readings. And all of that information can be found below. There will not be an extended to the readings today, but I am going to take the readings a little further so you can see what's going on, okay? All right, now... On to your reading. Hello, Earth signs. Okay, you guys, I am going to get right into your general reading for November. And um, all of the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn will be in this reading. You all will definitely come through with different storylines, though. So just keep that in mind. Um, there will not be an extended to this, but I am going to take it a step further so you can kind of see what's going to be coming up for you in the future okay all right so let's just get right to it holy spirit divine creator the universe with messages for our earth signs taurus virgo and capricorn and we have a little issue going on with this candle here and i'm so happy i always come prepared yes i do yes i do Give me one second. Oh, that's not going to work. I just have to keep the candles burning for you, you guys. And I always have one spare just in case something happens with the other one. There you go. Yes, a lot better. Okay, I'll keep that one there too. We'll have two candles burning. Okay. Holy Spirit, the mind crazy. I put messages like that before. For the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What messages need to go for for our earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo. Okay. What message needs to go for for Capricorn? There it is right there. All right. The universal messages need to be for for Taurus. Let's tell me to put this one right here. Okay. The messages need to go for for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Messages need to go for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for November. 2020 general reading. What messages do you look for for Taurus? Taurus. Virgo and Capricorn. Virgo and Capricorn. All right. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go for for Taurus? Virgo and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. 
goodness. All right, you guys. I had something falling on the floor. One in my lap. I'm going to do that one again because I just didn't feel good about that shuffle. And I can't decipher what is what. Spirit's not leading me to any of those cards. So let's try it again. What messages need to go for for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Virgo, and Capricorn. Virgo. What message needs to go for for Virgo? Thank you. All right. And we have them. All right, so let's just see what is going on. Let's start with Taurus. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So this could mean that you are coming out of a failure or something that you thought was failing, okay? Or this could mean to be cautious because you going down a wrong road or making a bad decision could bring about a failure. So just take your time during November. Take your time. And I'm also getting with this right now that somebody considers them not making it with you a failure in their life. So for some of you, this is not even related to you. Somebody feels like there's been a mistake that was made. And now that the relationship is not with you anymore, now that the opportunity is not there with you anymore, it was, it's a failure. It's considered a failure. Yeah, and here it is right here. You have wisdom. Yeah, you have wisdom around you. And somebody realizes the wisdom that you had and that relationship that they had with you is gone. And so they feel like they failed. They failed with the chance with you. They failed in a relationship with you. For some of you, this is not going to be uh, all romantic. This is, going to, this is going to be platonic. So it could be a family member, could be a friend relationship. For some of you, this is definitely romantic, more like a marriage or a long-time relationship. But you got wisdom. You got understanding. And from that, you kind of pulled away and somebody realized that they failed. They failed with you. See, there's the couple back there. That's, that's the couple back there. This is the wisdom that someone's received. And they realize that they failed. And yeah, in the near future, information may come out about this. Okay? Uh, more information that is going to surround this situation. But you definitely are the one that I feel like has that wisdom. Or someone around you has the wisdom. And when this wisdom came into play... It's like you began to really understand your place in this person's life or what the, you began to understand the situation and what was happening. And then you kind of went your own separate ways away from this person. Now this person realized that whether it was a game they were playing or how they were behaving, but they failed. They failed. They failed big time. Virgo, you have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So it could be something that you're regretting or maybe a choice that was made or was not made. Um, uh, or this is, could be an energy that's around you where someone is feeling regret, possibly not making the choice or decision to move in your direction. And you as well, this could be platonic or a romantic relationship, but somebody is either it's you or some uh, energy around you um, is feeling regret, okay? Or could feel regret uh, if they don't make the decision that they need to make. So make sure you hone in on that for November. Make sure you try to make decisions where you won't regret not doing something. Material harvest. Yeah. And see how the colors are matching too? Yeah. So this could mean that you might be making a decision about a job or something that's going to bring you in money or anything material wise, whatever this decision is, you don't want to regret getting the opportunity to take life to another level. This could be a business opportunity, a business venture that you're able to, uh, that you have an opportunity on and you don't want to regret not making the right decision to kind of be in that place. Yeah, spirit is going to be there with you. So spirit is saying, look for a sign. I'm going to lead you and guide you into this space. So listen, so you don't regret not making the right decision. The sign is going to come. Wow, these are some deep messages. Some deep messages. All right, Capricorn. Envy. Wow, I think Aries got this. I am the same as everyone, but with different challenges. So be careful um, not to be envious. 
or this could mean that somebody is being envious of you whichever which way is resonating with you but clearly envy is surrounding you or in your mist okay for november hmm third eye chakra third eye chakra being able to see clearly okay being able to um tap into that wisdom and that understanding okay with that third eye uh chakra here third eye chakra is again being able to um uh, see beyond what's really being being shown to you okay and again it's using using your spiritual uh senses which many people can't do okay or many people don't know how to do okay but you got envy and the third eye chakra so this is really just showing us and telling us that you're going to be very very clear about what you need to do and how you need to do it you want to get a very thorough understanding um this is this is being able to see um internally this is having clairvoyance you use your intuition um the third eye is like a higher level of consciousness right um it is being able to really look past what you can see with the naked eye okay and so you're 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 being asked to kind of balance this third eye you know you need to walk meditate make sure you uh you know taking breath just breathing in and out maybe for a minute from time to time um you know just 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 don't focus on one thing but you need to focus on balance and meditating i think will really help you with this especially if you're the one that's dealing with this envy okay romance so this could be dealing with somebody could be envious of you about a romance or this could mean that believe it or not sometimes there's envy in the relationship where one person is jealous of the other person and that's that's the craziest thing to me but i see it happen so much where you know you'll have one spouse jealous of the other spouse and you're on the same team or in a relationship one person's jealous of the other person and you're on the same team i don't get it okay so spirit is saying no so be careful um, this is a clear no to something that's dealing with this romance and envy. Use your intuition and understanding what spirit is telling you no in. Again, several of you watch this, so this is going to resonate in different ways. But you know exactly what the no is about. Okay? You, you can understand what the no is about. Wow. Very, very deep. Let's just pull the tarot and let's look a little further into this. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go for? For our earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What messages need to go for for our earth signs? What do our earth signs need to know for the month of November? Wow. You have the sun in reverse, the seven of pentacles in reverse, ace of cups in reverse, knight of pentacles. Page of swords is your overarching energy, okay? Um, let's see if you have any angel numbers coming through. You don't have any angel numbers, but you sure got a lot of people um, that's here. And so with this page of swords um, in reverse, this is deception. Um, this is manipulation. This is somebody being all talk. So just be careful with this. And I can literally see this energy in, in Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. That somebody might be trying to manipulate you. Somebody might be being, you know, just all talk. You know, they, they're talking a good game, but you don't see any action from it. Okay. Just be very, very careful um, with this deception here because that's clearly what is here. And so it goes with the failure, regret, and envy for all the earth signs. Okay, um, you all could be dealing with a Leo, Pisces, I mean, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. A lot of Earth here, but this just could be you. Could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra as well. Okay, the Sun in reverse, this is representing um, sadness. 
uh, possibly in a situation. Um, this could be representing negativity, um, depression. Um, this is either you or it could be an energy that's around you that somebody's sad. Somebody's depressed about something, okay? They feel like they put a lot of work and energy into a situation and nothing has come from it. Um, they don't see any results. They, they, they don't see any rewards coming from it. Um, this could also represent distractions in your life, okay? So be careful with that. And then that being coupled with the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse represents emotional loss, represents emptiness because you don't see any, any, anything that has come from the energy that you've put into something. The seeds that you've planted, you don't see anything. So this has left you empty. This has left you sad. This has left you um, blocked. This has left you, you know, at a, a state that where there's emotional loss. And with this emotional loss, now you have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is somebody deciding that regardless of what has happened in my past, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to be responsible. I'm going to take all of this negativity from my past or who, whatever somebody tried to bring around to me, and I'm moving on. See how his back is towards everything from the past? See how the knight's back is towards that? That means I'm moving I'm moving forward. I'm moving away from this negativity, okay? I might move slow, and it may take me a minute to get myself together, but I'm moving forward, okay? I'm going to be responsible for what I need to do because clearly somebody's manipulating me. So Clearly somebody's all taught. Clearly somebody's deceiving me. King of Pentacles in reverse could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But this is greed. This is material loss. This is indulging in things that you shouldn't indulge in. This is participating in things that you should not participate in. This could be an energy that you're dealing with right now that somebody's just... Or this could be you actually losing something materially. And you might have to lose something to gain something. Okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You're overwhelmed with the two of pentacles in reverse. This is being overwhelmed. This is um, have being, um, having a, a loss of balance. This is being disorganized. So it, it's really time to get, just get this thing together. And again, uh, earth signs, if this is not you, this is somebody around you that's experiencing this. But this is needing to take action with these behaviors. This is needing to take action. This is needing to um, defend, you know, your stance on something or where you are. Um, but really take action in dealing with this situation here. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Because somebody really feels like they have lost someone. They feel like all hope is gone. I don't know why I keep feeling like this. I don't feel like this is, I feel like this is somebody external to you. Uh, so it could be somebody that you're dealing with, but they feel like they've lost. I feel like somebody feel like they, feels like they lost you, like they just lost. Wow, like it's just it's just no hope in something. Discouraged, you know, insecure about something, or just feel like I don't know it's not more so insecure. It's they they feel lost. They feel like they've lost, and from their loss, it's somebody's gain because the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like. Somebody had to let go of a situation, let go of whatever this energy is. And once you let go of it, it's coming in for you. Or this could be where somebody is right here with the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is the money. This is the best money card in the deck. This is you get regaining anything that you have lost. Because look, now you have the support that you need from family and friends. You kind of moved away because you made a difficult decision here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You made a difficult decision. You made you 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 didn't know which which decision to make, but you made a difficult decision. You realized it was time to make a decision. It was difficult. You were blinded by some of the things that you needed to know, but you went for. Okay, you made that compromise in your life, even though you didn't have the inspiration to do it. Okay, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, energy, Page of Pentacles in reverse. With this Page of Pentacles, this was this is not having a direction. This is not having. A, a commitment or somebody may not have been commit committed to you um in love okay because with the seven of cups it was it was too much it was again no commitment you know a bunch of confusion around this love situation which brought you out of your character with this empress in reverse somebody was out of their character they didn't realize who they were and this page of cups um, in reverse with the page of cups, this is this is a very insecure um, energy. This is a very immature energy. Very, it, or could be disappointed 
about just being overwhelmed. But with this Five of Swords um, in reverse, this is you coming out of this energy. Um, this is this is uh, having the desire to forgive, having the desire to reconcile. And when you do that, I feel like more so forgiving. I don't feel like some of you are going to reconcile. But you may find happiness in a twin flame relationship with someone else. I'm going to stop there. Wow. Okay, you guys. Uh, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time. Bye-bye.